what's going on guys deadly here and today i'm bringing you a little bit of call of duty ghosts on freight i believe and i'm using the remington with red dot and extended mags now i usually put a silencer on but in this game you kind of have to decide whether you want to do more damage or stay off the map and it's a nice little sacrifice because if you want to play stealthy you put the silencer on if you want extended mags or i'm sorry more damage you take the silencer off and put it on another attachment and uh, it's kind of cool because it kind of makes you decide how you want to play the game um and the reason this isn't live, if you haven't caught on quite yet, uh, I normally just start off my live commentaries like this anyway without telling you that it's live. So if you thought this was live, um, no worries. I've, I've done that to people before when it's, where it's actually a live commentary and they don't notice until the end because I never tell you it's live. Uh, but don't worry, this isn't live. This is a regular commentary. And the reason for that is because I kind of want to tell you guys how I feel about the game right now. Now, I'm not necessarily, necessarily going to tell you whether I like this game, whether I think this is a bad game. I'm just going to tell you a few of the positives that I've seen a few of the negatives that I've seen and uh, I'm gonna start with the negatives just because um, if I get them out of the way early then you just hear positives and hopefully the positives are the only thing that you remember um, no, of course not but uh, I am gonna start off with the negatives because there's just not that many negatives and uh, I guess I could save them till the end but the, I mean it's like one and uh, the only negative that I see in this game is that I don't really like the maps, and that's not even a negative. That's just that's just term of opinion. Uh, the maps are just kind of weird for me. There's too many entrances to every single place, and it, that kind of bothers me. I kind of like to be able to shut down a building because there's only one pathway to it, and I guess that's kind of why they made like ten bajillion pathways. Like I think in this room there's two, there's three doors: one in the front, one in the back, one in the left, and then there's a little underground passage to it. So that's around four entrances. Good luck trying to shut that building down. You can't. Um, now with that being said, it does kind of make the, the game a little bit more fast paced because you know, you, you don't just shut down an area and that's it. The other team can't do anything. Uh, the game is able to continue and it doesn't end kind of at a, like a lame stalemate like it did in previous fi in, I was about to say FIFA. Um, I've been playing way too much FIFA. Uh, it doesn't end like a, a lame little, you know, defensive game where you can get past a certain point because the other team is just completely spawn trapping you. And uh, in this game, if you're being spawn trapped, you got, you're doing something wrong. There's so many different ways to get to so many different places that uh, you're just trying the same way over and over again. So it does give you a lot more options on to, to get to objectives and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, the maps are just kind of weird for me because I play free for all more often than not. Now, every once in a while, I do play objectives. But since I play so much free for all, it kind of makes me paranoid to know that there's like 10 different ways that seven different people can come into the same building at once. And uh, that's, you know, that's that's neither here nor there. You know, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to the fact that uh, I'm not safe in a building and that I have to run around and constantly keep moving. And uh, that's kind of my gameplay anyway. But hey, you know, it, it's still it's still a little bit bothersome to know that I'm never really safe in a building. But uh, anyways, other than that, I think I, I really enjoy the game as of right now. Like I said, I can't tell you whether I like this game, whether this game is like the best thing since sliced bread. I can't tell you that. Um, what I can tell you is that the hit detection is really, really good. Um, there's never been a time where I'm like, wow, I probably should have gotten that kill. Um, no, because most of the time if I'm aiming at the guy and I'm hitting the guy, I'm getting the kill. And the, the aim detection is just really good in this game, I have to say it. Um, another thing is that all guns are really good. There hasn't been this one gun that everybody's using, you know, in, in Black Ops 2. Everybody instantly went to the, the PDW in this game. Everyone just seems to be using a gun that they seem to enjoy using. Uh, I've seen every single gun be used. I've seen, I've even seen shotguns be used. Not too often, but I have seen shotguns be used. I've seen all of the sniper rifles be used, and that's that's what I really like about this game, as the variety of weapons that people use. Um, a lot of people seem to use the honey badger in the assault rifle category just because it comes with an integrated silencer. But again, you're kind of sacrificing damage when you set, when you pick that gun. So. It, 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 each gun has its thing, you know, like the Remington. The Remington has slow rate of fire, but high damage. And uh, that that's really good because if you're, si if you're silenced, you're not only bringing down your damage, but you already have a low rate of fire. So you're going to have a hard time killing people with fast who have fast rate of fire, you know. And it's it's really cool how they, how they worked out the weapons in this game. Um, now, with that being said, I think the weapons are fine. However, the kill streaks are a completely different story. Um, the the kill streaks, I don't want to say they're absolutely useless because they're not. You know, they're not the the what's the satcom. You know, it shows you where people are. It's it's good for your team. The helicopters and all the lethal stuff, those are kind of lame. Um, 
I wish they would have included more things that you didn't have to control, but it seems like a lot of the kill streaks in the assault in the assault category you have to control. And I've I've never been I've never been the type of guy who likes those kill streaks. You know, I never really used a chopper gunner in Modern Warfare 2 because I didn't like being in a chopper gunner. I never really used a chopper gunner in Black Ops 2 because again I didn't like being in the chopper gunner. That's not really my thing. Uh, but the kill streaks like the like the what's it called the attack heli I don't know what it's actually called um, like the Delta helicopter I don't know it's it's something weird it's just an attack helicopter um, it's not that good I actually called it in in this game and I think it got me like two or three kills where in Black Ops two my attack helicopter could have possibly ended the game and gotten me more than half of my kills you know um, so the kill streaks aren't overpowered whatsoever which is really cool because it's more gun based. But then again, it's not kind of cool when it's your kill streak and you're not getting any kills for it. Um, but hey, it's something I can live with. It's something that eventually I'm gonna stop using the kill streaks probably because I'm gonna go for those KEM strikes, which are 25 kill streaks, um, and I'm not gonna be able to use those because then I won't be able to keep track of my kills. But um, yeah, it's not it's not really something troublesome. Like I don't think they need to be fixed. I don't think they need to be patched or whatever. I think the way that the kill streaks are right now is perfect. Uh, and it's kind of a good thing that they're not overpowered as well because there's no um, there's no launchers that lock on, so you can't lock onto the helicopters. So if they were overpowered and you couldn't lock onto them with the launchers, you would be done for. <laughs> um, so yeah, they they seem to really work out the balance in this game, which is something that I really do enjoy. And uh, along with the the ability to you know have good hit detection. Um, it's just it's just overall really good. Again, the few negatives, kill streaks and maps, but those are things that I'll get used to and not necessarily game breaking things. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of uh, kind of a repeat of a map. I think I've already showed you this map, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think of the game. I know some of you guys hate this game, but uh, th I mean these are just my opinions and you're entitled to your own. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the game. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Peace.